did Sony create a must-have stereo with the XAV AX8000 single DIN receiver? Or did they come up just a little short? Either way, the AX8000 deserves some serious consideration when upgrading your car stereo. You're probably wondering, how do we get our hands on this? Let's just say we know a guy who knows a guy. A big thank you to Sony for hooking it up with an early model of the XAV AX8000. This stereo will be released later this winter of 2019. We've reviewed several of Sony's XAV AX models, including the AX100, AX200, and AX5000. To differ from its predecessors, a few features on the AX8000 stand out and make a truly unique upgrade. First, obviously, is the massive 8.95 inch anti-glare display, which not only is vibrant and sharp, but also held up really well with a light pointed on it. However, it's not HD or capacitive, which are two features we would have loved to see on this stereo. The measurements of the display are 8 and 15 16 inches in width and 5 and a quarter inches in height. We've seen oversized displays on both single dins and double dins before, but this was for sure the highest quality display of them all. Not only was it sturdy and felt like it could last years, it has a three-way adjustment mount, meaning you can customize the height, depth, and tilt angle of the display. Some oversized displays feature ball joint mounts and others limit mobility, but this is a much more sophisticated piece of hardware that will ensure the display is to your liking and always level. As soon as you start playing around with a ball joint display, it'll never be level or straight again. The display and actual chassis come separately, but connect with a ribbon cable input. Adjusting the AX8000's position is simple. All you need is a screwdriver and a gentle touch. Just don't lose any of those screws. Sony gives you a few extras just in case. The various positions guarantee universal fitment in any dash. There are three tilt angle positions, three depth positions, and seven height positions. Just to give you some scale on how big the display actually is, look at how much larger the screen is on the AX8000 compared to the 6.2 inch double DIN display of the AX1000. Such a beast. To reiterate, this is a single DIN stereo. It will not work in a double DIN opening unless your vehicle has a compatible single DIN Metro dash kit for your model or with a pocket. For example, a 2016 Toyota Corolla can accommodate either a double DIN or single DIN stereo with the proper dash kit. Unlike previous XAV AX models, the AX8000 comes with a steering wheel control harness to connect your factory wiring, as well as steering wheel control preset selection. If the software looks familiar, that's because it hasn't changed much. Some new OS features include new backup camera guidelines, driving position selection for those of you in London. You sound like you're from London. Who drives on the left side of the road? Touch screen calibration for more accurate responses. and illumination level. The price is a bit steep at $600, but compared to other models like the Alpine Halo 9, or even the Pioneer AVH 3300NX, the Sony has an impressive 55 watt by four channel amplifier and quite frankly, it looks the best. I've always loved the displays of the Sony XAV AX models. They're sleek and modern. And although some people prefer variable color button illumination, I'm totally fine with just white.
Inside the box is a three-year warranty card, external microphone for hands-free calling and voice recognition, wiring harness, two USB extensions, one long, one short, rear display covers, steering wheel control harness, wireless remote control, hardware, Velcro strap, and Singleton stereo. The rear connections include radio antenna, 5 volt preamp outputs for front, rear, and subwoofer, microphone input, steering wheel control input, wiring harness for power ground and speaker, and Sirius XM. As you can tell, this unit does not have a disc slot. So it's time to throw away those old Ja Rule CDs. Murder, murder. The XAV AX8000 has one USB input. It is located in the back of the display. And as you can see, the rear has wire lining. Sony wants you to connect the USB cable, then run the cable along the wire path on the rear of the display and cover the exposed wire with the rear display covers ensuring the cable will not break loose. Then you'll notice this long black cover along the top of the chassis. Gently remove it, and you'll find out that it's actually a tunnel for the USB cable. Run the wire to the rear using the tunnel, and place the cover back on top. The pieces are a little delicate, so be careful not to break anything. I like that Sony also gives you the option to just leave the USB dangling behind the display if you don't want to run the USB behind the dash. With your iPhone or Android device, the USB connection enables Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Neither work wirelessly. I repeat, this stereo is not compatible with wireless Apple CarPlay or wireless Android Auto. Still, somebody's gonna ask. A USB connection is required. Both softwares have been updated and they look phenomenal on the XAV AX8000's display, especially Apple CarPlay. These integrate your navigation apps like Google Maps, Apple Maps, and Waze. messaging apps and answering and sending texts, calendar for appointments, plus all your music and audio apps like Spotify, Pandora, radio apps, not to mention your super important podcasts. Video apps do not transfer. These are two of the hottest features in modern car stereos, and we have detailed reviews on what the new versions of each software offers. Check those out, links in the bio. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto cannot be downloaded onto a stereo that isn't already compatible. Voice control worked great with Siri and Google Assistant, and enables the microphone to listen to you. Use it to pull up any of your apps like Google Maps for directions, or Spotify for a new song. The voice command button on the display immediately brings you to either Apple CarPlay or Android Auto depending on what you're using. A minute detail Sony adds to their XAV AX models that I love are the small phone status icons for signal strength and battery life on the top right corner of the display. Sony plans to add support for Abalta's Weblink platform, which I think is pointless. Weblink is incredibly slow and you couldn't pay me to use it. Unless they update it, then maybe. It seems futile, especially with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto in the same unit. Bluetooth allows hands-free calling and wireless music streaming.
the USB will not allow music playback from a smartphone outside of CarPlay or Android Auto. However, a USB thumb drive will play back music and video files. For audio, it is compatible with PCM, MP3, WMA, AAC, and FLAC audio files. For video, it is compatible with MPEG-4 SP, AVC H.264, WMV, FLV, MKV, and XVID files. However, I had trouble getting the correct video format to play back on the USB thumb drive. I think it's because it's an early model without published bit rates and resolutions. You cannot upload or view JPEG images on this stereo. The XAV AX8000 is Sirius XM ready with the SXV300 V1 and steering wheel control ready with the Axis ASWC1. Links in the video bio below for those. However, it is not compatible with iDaddling Maestro RR. For visual customization, the stereo has five vibrant built-in preset wallpapers to choose from. And remember, you can't upload your own. For high quality audio performance, it features extra bass, a 10 band customizable EQ with presets, balance and fader, high pass and low pass crossovers with subwoofer phase, DSO dynamic stage organizer, and phone call sound speaker location. These audio features sound great, but how does the stereo actually perform? Really freaking well. We felt like proud parents after testing this thing. First, we tested the frequency response using the internal amplifier and preamps at the same time. We did this a little differently than usual because there is no auxiliary input on this stereo. We generated media files at zero dB and played them back through USB. Next test, single channel driven at four ohms, 40 Hertz, 14.56 volts. The waveform was clean at volume 36. Our SMD picked up 20 watts RMS, 9.6 volts of output on the Lumi while drawing 3.1 amps of current and 23.47 watts RMS on our HP 8903B audio analyzer with 1.46% distortion. Going down to volume 35, distortion dropped to 0.20% and the RMS dipped to 19.1 watts. Single channel driven at 4 ohms, 1 kilohertz, 14.55 volts. The waveform was clean at volume 36. Our SMD went down to 17 watts RMS, 9.7 volts of output on the Lumi while drawing 3.12 amps of current and 23.91 watts RMS on our HP with 1.98% distortion. Going down to volume 35, distortion dropped to 0.24% and the RMS dipped to 19.7 watts. Now, two channels driven at four ohms, one kilohertz, 14.55 volts. The waveform was clean at volume 36. Our SMD went down to 16 watts RMS, 9.66 volts of output on the Lumi while drawing 5.23 amps of current and 23.62 watts RMS on our HP with 2.62% distortion. Going down to volume 35, distortion dropped to 0.27% and the RMS dipped to 19.67 watts. Two channels driven at four ohms, 40 Hertz, 14.53 volts. The waveform was clean at volume 36. Our SMD read 18 watts RMS. 9.51 volts of output on the Lumi while drawing 5.34 amps of current and 22.94 watts RMS on our HP with 2.5% distortion. Going down to volume 35, distortion dropped to 0.27% and the RMS dipped to 19.1 watts. The preamp outputs came back reading as five volts. Back to the original question I opened the video with. 
did Sony create a must-have stereo? Almost. Would I get this stereo? Hell yeah. However, Sony missed out on setting the bar by excluding these key features. Wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto, an HD display, a capacitive touchscreen, and an auxiliary input. If these were included, I guarantee they wouldn't have been able to keep this stereo on shelves. Despite the lack of those features, this is still one of the most highly anticipated stereos of 2019. Another con, Sony still refuses to put any kind of AV input on their XAV AX stereos. This makes the only chance of screen mirroring possible through the backup camera input using our mirroring kits for iPhone and Android USB-C devices. Links for those in the bio below. It works fine, you'll have to stream the audio via Bluetooth, but it defeats the purpose of having a backup camera, which are incredibly convenient. However, using our Bueller AVS210 Smart RCA Video Switcher, you'll be able to wire both a backup camera and our mirroring adapter to the single backup camera input of the stereo, allowing you to switch back and forth between your camera and the screen mirror with ease, with audio still working via Bluetooth. Link in the video bio for that video switcher. Let us know what you think about the XAV AX8000 below and whether or not it's on your shopping list. Be sure to go to qualitymobilevideo.com to get all of your car audio and video gear with us today. Links for everything again in the bio below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button. But if you hated it, click the dislike button. Join the conversation below and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.